Welcome to the Boxing News YouTube channel, where you can find everything related to the exciting world of boxing. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss anything. The WBC has given former unified 160-pound champion Gennady Golovkin the number one spot in the middleweight division in its latest rankings, after GGG vacated his IBF and WBA belts. The WBC has given Golovkin a great gift by placing him at number one without having to lift a finger to earn the ranking like normal fighters do. However, we don't really know if Golovkin has his heart in the game at this stage of his 17-year professional career. He has earned a great deal of money and has more than enough to last him the rest of his life and then some. If Golovkin is only looking to get the biggest payday possible at 160, he's in the right place. The biggest money fight for Golovkin at 160 is against Jermal Charlo, unless one of the welterweights like Errol Spence wants to move up to middleweight to face him. There's no chance of Canelo Alvarez fighting Golovkin again unless GGG suddenly shows some ambition and beats a big name like Charlo, Caleb Plant, or David Benavidez. At this point, that's unlikely, given Golovkin's look in his last two fights and the fact that he's only fought four times since 2019. If you're a fan of boxing, leave a like. Golovkin, February 1, 42, 37 KOs, who will turn 41 on April 8, is coming off a loss to Canelo Alvarez and decided to vacate his IBF and WBA belts after he was recently ordered to face Esquiva Fulcao and Arislandi Lara. Jermal Charlo is the inactive WBC champion, so the logical move would be for the sanctioning body to strip him due to his two-year inactivity and then order Golovkin to fight 160-pound interim champion Carlos Adams for the vacant belt. Would Golovkin be interested in fighting Adams for the WBC belt? It's not realistic. If GGG wouldn't fight Lara or Fulcao to keep his IBF and WBA titles, he surely won't risk his neck against a fighter possibly better than those guys in Adams. That would be a tough fight for Golovkin at this stage of his career, and the only way he'd have a chance to win is by fighting aggressively like he used to. Unless the WBC installs Golovkin as champion, it's highly unlikely he'll accept to fight Charlo or Adams for the belt unless one of the promoters offers him crazy money, like $15 million or more for a fight. Does Golovkin still have the ambition to become a world middleweight champion once again, or is he simply looking for the most lucrative fight at this stage of his career? Leave your opinion in the comments. Only time will tell. Don't miss any news and updates about the world of boxing by subscribing to our Boxing News YouTube channel. You won't regret it.